Hey guys, what's up? So I thought I'd do my Blu-ray collection again. So this, there's probably going to be eight parts. So um, here's part one, and I'm going to go through part one kind of quick because part one's going to have a lot. So let's get to it. First one, Mission Impossible 3. Great movie, great looking Blu-ray. If you have the DVD, not necessary. Ratatouille. Let me see if I can get out the glare so much. Ratatouille. Awesome Pixar movie. Great looking Blu-ray. It's pretty much a must-own. Next up. Remember the Titans. Pretty good movie. Not needed on Blu-ray. Layer Cake. Pretty awesome movie. Not really needed on Blu-ray. Tears of the Sun. Great movie. Not really needed on Blu-ray. Love Identity. Wait. Love Identity. Not really needed on Blu-ray. But it's an awesome movie and I love it. Condemned. Really not needed on Blu-ray. Crank. Great movie. I guess you can get on Blu-ray. Deja Vu. Awesome, awesome, awesome movie. Any Denzel movie is worth really having. Live Free, Die Hard. Awesome movie. It's a little long, but looks good. 300. This is a must-own on Blu-ray. But uh, you don't need the other one, honestly. So Another must-have in the collection, Departed. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Looks amazing. The movie, eh. Must own. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Awesome action movie. Awesome, awesome. One of my favorite comedies. We got Super Bad. You gotta have it. Full of features. Looks great. Fun movie. Rush Hour 3. Good action. Good pitch quality. Um, game plan, eh. It was alright. To watch once type of movie. 3, 3 10 to Yuma. Great Western, looked pretty good. It's kind of a watch once for me. Kick ass action movie, shoot 'em up, really good. Good pitch quality, fun movie. Next we have War. Uh, that was okay. This for me is a must own. Resident Evil box set, really, really, really good. Comes with uh, all three of the movies, or the first three. Um. And I, and I like this box set because they came out with a newer one, but I like the way this one looks. Next, Ocean's 13. Didn't like at first. Glare's terrible. Didn't like at first. Watched it again and I liked it much more, but definitely not needed on Blu ray. This is alright. I don't hate it. I'm not going to lie and say it's the worst thing I've ever seen, but definitely I could have done without it. This. I should have kept on DVD. Uh, it's Underworld. Cool movie, but not needed. This looked really awesome. It's not ultraviolet. It's not my favorite of hers, of her type of movies, but it looked really good. Holly Berry's boobs. In high def. Uh, Vacancy. This movie looked so so good, so good. This is one of the first movies that I ever bought that was like, wow, this looks fantastic. And it's a cool movie too, so I like it. This is one of my favorites. I've only watched it once on Blu-ray. I don't know why, but I Am Legend. Awesome, awesome movie. I hate the glare. Damn. Uh, this is a watch once. Enchanted. Didn't really need to buy it, but... Uh, next up is Pirates 1 looks incredible and uh... This, this series is it's hit or miss it's okay uh... this was free stir of echoes it was pretty good for a horror movie next we got pirates uh... at world's end the third one i think the best looking one um, kinda liked it better than part two but not as good as part one i don't remember uh... casino royale could have i it looks really good but i could have it's a watch once for me, honestly. Uh, 30 Days a Night, this was pretty damn cool. We Own the Night, uh, well, it's alright. 
Good luck, Chuck. Yeah, this was okay, too. Love this movie, The Invasion. Definitely pick this up. I think you can get it for like 8 bucks at Target. Amazing picture quality. Cool movie. The Brave One. Eh. Gone Baby Gone. This was really good, but depressing, but good. Good acting. Eh. Across the Sky. I could have done without this one. This was back when, like, there was no Blu-rays out, and, you know, you just needed to buy something to buy something. Troy. Very good, but really long. Uh, Invincible. This was pretty good. Fly of the Phoenix. This was eh. It's alright. No Country for Old Men. Yeah, a little overrated. Walk Hard. Um, not one of my favorite uh, Judd Apatow produced movies, but eh, it was okay. Juno. This was pretty good. I liked it. It wasn't my favorite, but I liked it. Alvin and the Chipmunks. It was cute. Face Off, classic. I don't remember if it looked that amazing. I think it was okay looking. Fantastic National Treasure 2. Looks amazing. Fun movie. Untraceable. Eh. And I saw it in the theater. I don't know why I rebought it. 27 Dresses. This was actually pretty good. From what I remember. This was before... Um, Catherine Hagel became extremely annoying. Hitman, eh. Gattaca, uh, this was alright. Love this movie. Disturbia, good stuff. Fool's Gold, uh, it was alright. Batman Begins, Dark Knight's much better, but still, that's a good movie. We've got The Rock. I didn't have this on DVD, so I had to buy it, but it, uh, eh, I like it. I don't love it. National Treasure 1, awesome. Love Part 1, love Part 2. Rambo, this was actually pretty damn good. Really violent. Next is next. Uh, I don't remember this at all, actually. It was, it was okay. Um, Coyote Ugly. I like Piper Parabo. Uh, Men in Black. I remember liking Part 2 a little better. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean Part 2. Looks really awesome. And finally, I'm just going to end this part with Drill Bit Taylor. Love this movie. Such a great comedy. Fun stuff. So anyways, guys, that's Part 1. I think I'm going to have probably 7 parts. So um, see you next time.